Okay, so we are back at the Hound Pits pub. We killed High Overseer Campbell, and now we are moving on. So it tells me to go back to Corvo's bed, so let's find out. Open. Do you mean to tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly? Please, sir. I was never in service with... My father served in the field under General Alfred Pendleton. Where he took the wound I don't care. that crippled him. Okay. I hope I will do no less if called upon. Until then, well, So we're going to I don't know what just happened, but we are going to go up to the bed and take a nap. And see what's going to happen in the morning. We killed over Sir Campbell, got a couple of charms and runes and stuff. But we still need to rescue the heir to the throne. Join Lewis Campbell's fate has thrown the overseers into disarray, decoding the high overseer's journal. May reveal any number of strategic secrets, most notably the location of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin. So we need to... Find where she is. Learn about weepers. Ooh, talk to Admiral Havelock. Dark noises as I wake up. Nothing. There's no loot for me to get here this time, so let's just continue down. Damn it, man. What's this? Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. Yeah, I, I hate know. to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night. Moving through the storm drain hmm. beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. Does not sound I that appealing. Just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear <laughs> on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Sleep darts? I already have some. I have seven. But we will move on to the sewer. Now that's a way to open a sewer, wow. Copper wire. Oh, there's a rune. 72 runes over there. Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound, and money changes hands. Hound kills Hound, Hound and money changes hands. So some foul play is happening down here somewhere. I can leave out that way, it seems. <laughs> okay, I wonder what this is. A chain? This goes into here. Come on. Okay. Anything down here? There's a a wrench that someone left around. That's about it. Such laughter, and then they sing the old songs, linking arms. But that was from a happier time. Huh. Okay, so they are actually weepers, it seems. An ancient note. Huh. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting or ever again, for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the results of our labors here for you to keep, but I expect that the rest will consume it before you return. Goodbye. Nice. 
Um, and where was that other one? Why would they put a second room there? It doesn't make any sense to me. Just a little easter egg for the people who decide to use the, uh, heart get an extra rune. Works out for me, though. I can upgrade dark vision. Seeing the walls and see living thing beings through walls, including their fields of vision. Where is it? See useful objects and security systems through walls as well. So it increases that. Okay, blink. I already have one and two. Possession. Allow control of animals, human targets. Yeah, can't even get that right now. Bend time. I can come. No, I need eight runes. Eight to completely stop time. Wow. Then I get can get bloodthirsty, build up adrenaline, then trigger brutal melee fatalities. Not interested. I can reduce falling damage and increase jump height. Oh, and then it will increase movement speed at the second second level. I'm really just thinking dark vision though, that seems to be extremely useful. So I'm going to get that and it will allow me to see even more stuff. Okay, so... Enhancements. Powers and enhancements. Is there something down there? Oh, okay, these are the powers, these are the enhancements. Okay. So we have that. I don't see anything else in here. Let's take a look at dark vision. Underwater with this stuff is very hard, but yeah, it lets you see little consumable items. Like that was some food that I could find. There's some people up there. Oh wow! Yeah, dark vision level two is quite useful. Okay, well, I think I've done everything in the sewers right now. So we shall get out of here. Climb. Hello, don't mind me. You went down there in the sewers? Yep. I thought I heard a weep. You did? Earlier. Two. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Maybe. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock okay. now. They want to talk to you. And they're over there. Martin, the Overseer, and Admiral Havelock. Corvo, I trust you remember I Martin, do. an Overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Anytime. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journal. You've done it. Oh. We know where Emily called me. That's good help. news. <laughs> the golden cat. The golden cat. I have no idea where that is. A bathhouse for oh, okay. aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. Hmm. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. What? Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Why do you guys care about parliamentary votes? Pendleton's You're like rebels. You You're He's not a political you faction. I, think it's best. I mean, you are sort of, but not in any official way. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron. Go about I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints. If anyone is curious, don't. I brought you tea as okay. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition, a weaponry? Would you like me to craft some? Let me see what you have. Might want some more sleep bolts. Got 180 coin. I have two of these right now. Don't need rewired tools. Upgrades. I can only I can get anything. So let's just get some sleep darts. I have six right now. 
Let's make it ten. Okay. Ah, the royal protector. Just the man I needed to speak. Oh, you needed to speak with me, did you? What do you want, Pendleton? I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Huh. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted and quarantined for having the plague actually has the plague. Okay. I well. warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch. So it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Oh, I will. Although I might not kill them. I might just put them to sleep and ignore them. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. Hello, Samuel. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times. <laughs> okay, let's go look for Emily. As I put on the epic mask. Ranged weapons inflict more damage when an enemy is unaware of you. Huh. I figured a bullet would do just as much damage either way. But apparently it only does maximum damage when they don't see it coming out the side of their face. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. This looks exactly like the other area. The entrance is near Holger Square. Okay, it's near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, Oops. gets back all That was me banging my desk, ignore that. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. <laughs> this here's his territory. He and his bottle street um, hole up at the old Dunwall whiskey factory. Uh, they sell the elixir that folks um, can fight off of. Well... I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Uh, about the about the slack draw guys and the Emily distillery that they uh, I've, I've kind of poisoned Careful them last time. The street, a river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Huh. Okay, so apparently there's a watchtower. Whoa, what the... Your actions affect the city. A high number of deaths results in more Ratchet and Weepers, different reactions from your allies, and darker final outcomes. Okay, so I will try to reduce the number of deaths. We can have a good ending or a bad ending with lots of rats. Send us... What? Send us... Something, not bullets. Food. So this food, not bullets. And there's rats. And this is nice. Okay. What the heck is going on? Why is it just killing people? What? Don't worry, your back is only half broken from the fall. <laughs> okay, so I have to avoid that tower which is going to try to kill me. Attention, Dunwall citizens. 
Thaddeus Campbell, formerly I.O. is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears the Heritage brand, and by one of the oldest traditions of the Abbey of the Everyman, it is now a minor criminal offense to offer this man aid or housing. In this time, Sucks for that guy, he's a criminal now, or whatever. Who are you? Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. Lead the way. What a mess, huh? Whole town's gone to trash. Okay, so I guess we'll meet Slackjaw. Oh. Is that him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. These guys are going to attack. At the distillery. Okay, they're not gonna do attack. But apparently we've got three charms. One like straight twenty meters up, probably on the other side of the building. And there's seventy five and hundred and ten. Hey, blow off. Let's go. Old Dunwall distillery, back where I was before. Habit of home some more rats, more play victims, and a darker outcome. I was not expecting it to just take us to the same place. 71 meters away is the first charm. I don't think they're gonna last much longer in there. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. Yes, tainted elixir is bad. It's what they call irony, I think. Elixir irony, ha <laughs> ha. I take credit for that. Uh oh, weepers. Slack job be waiting for witchcraft. What was that? Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Oh, that's just to make the swallow. Ooh. Can't get that. Health elixir. Health elixir. Ah. Oh. I wanted to come get this stuff down here. I need the distillery reserve key. Ooh. Nice, nice. I don't need to go up here. Okay, let's just go meet Slackjaw. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the pool. That's me. Half my men are uh -huh. <laughs> Trap three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so, and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Oh. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two. Oh, I agree. <laughs> I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while. Not sure why. There's a lot of security Lee. at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests in the lab. Yep. But you're gonna walk in there, dress like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Yep. Maybe I got a better way to take mm, care of Maybe. If you're doing something for me first, understand? I'll think about it. Someone. I don't know who is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. 
Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. Hmm. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Sure, Slackjaw. Meet with the distillery completed. Enter Dr. Galvani. I can go this way, I guess. I want that key, though. He is. Maybe I should knock some people unconscious. Good. <coughs> wow, they coughed at the exact same time. Okay, I'll knock this guy unconscious now. <laughs> okay, I didn't get the key. Apparently not everyone has the key. Oh well. So we need to get back to Gal Dr. Galvani, same place we went earlier. Oh, that door's open now. You guys can do it, I'm not even going to bother. Oh, what the heck? He spit on me or something, or threw up on me. Let's get out of here. Go to Bottle Street. I would have... Actually, I probably should kill Weepers. I'm not sure. If I... Because it said more rats and Weepers, so if I kill the Weepers, then it might help it. I don't know. Help the outcome is what I'm talking about. Distillery District House of Pleasure. I haven't actually read this yet. The loyalist believes that Emily is being held at the Golden Cat by the corrupt aristocratic Pendleton brothers. These men are Lord Pendleton's despised older brothers, twins, and they are loyal to the tyrannical Lord Regent. Find Emily at the Golden Cat and eliminate Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. You guys should go in there and help him out. Smoke or eat? Blow off, chopper. Look out for the watch. They got no respect for laws. Hungry? Well, don't eat river crust. It'll make you sick as a bucket. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I figured they wouldn't be able to see that far. Doctor Galvani's office, the golden cat. Let's go to Doctor Galvani's office. Whoa. Ha. Sucks for you guys. Assassin, I'll loot you. Oh, I can't carry that type of ammo, apparently. Oh, uh, there he is. Uh, what type of ammo are they carrying? Maybe just regular bullets, I don't know. Tea bag. Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear. Uh, sure. Ooh, blueprints. I should try to get these. 
100. That's like twice. Yeah, I'm not going to buy anything from this guy. Except maybe those blueprints later on. Oh, let me equip this. Oh. They are burning the whales. Bottle Street Boys. I saw a slack drive with your mother. Yeah, I saw him with your father. What? Oh, there's something in here. It's a weeper. <laughs> Flies, get away from me. Whoa, what happened to his body? Oh, I think that's that perk that I got. That makes the bodies disintegrate. Okay, so we're done with that. We got that charm. Let's see what's next. We got a charm 60 meters and then one at the golden cat. Attention Dunwall citizens. A mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. Non-compliance is a punishable offense. There's no good way across the street, except down there or over here. Let's get to Dr. Galvani's office. Can I not get on that roof? It would appear so. Oh, those spikes hurt. <laughs> what was that? No one saw anything. I don't know why there was a guy there, but whatever. Something weird going on. You see something? Someone help me yeah. out. They're trying to throw rocks at me? What the heck? Oh, I need... Really? Really? I had the key, didn't I? Uh, so having the key before doesn't mean anything in the future. Oh, I, I didn't know I could do that. Books usually provide background information about the world. Not really interested in reading books right now.
big deal. Maybe you can go up later and take a look after the other two are gone. I should be using this. I need to find a way up. I can't do that, can I? Nope. That guy's coming over here. Once this guy turns around, I'm gonna go try to knock him out. Move. Start walking. Where did that other guy go to? Oh, okay, so he went down that side. Okay, he didn't go through. You don't see anything. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, so... Up we go. There's one person over there. Two guards and the informant, there's some rats. Hmm. <laughs> Arguing guards. Okay, hopefully he doesn't see me. I'm gonna get this out just in case. Should we gather for whiskey and cigar? Are they just going to patrol in there or are they going to come out? Looks like he might come out. Okay. I don't like where he is now. I'm going to wait for him to move again. Uh, nah, screw it. It takes too long. Crowley's last message. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else that I can get in here. So I got a room there. Let's open this back up. Uh, you can spin it. It's pretty cool. 287. Is that the uh, code for the safe? 
We're gonna try that out. Okay, two, eight, seven. Booyah! A pouch, 500 coin. Whoop de doo. Yay, okay. Uh, so now with that, what is my next? It's J. Return the audiograph to Slackjaw. That was an audiograph? Um... Oh, he's not on crash. I'll be right back. Terminated.